Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. What we've got down here on the range today is a Taurus Judge. For you guys that don't know what the Judge is, or if there's anybody out there that doesn't know what the Judge is, it's basically a double action 45 Colt chambered revolver that's had the cylinder lengthened so that you can also shoot 410 shot shells from it. Now I say double action, but you can also fire it in single action. It has a transfer bar safety system in it, and it also has a key lock on the trigger, like most of your Taurus, Taurus revolvers these days, so you can manually lock the gun up. This one has a six and a half inch barrel, so it's a, it's a longer barreled version than most of the judges that I've seen on the market. Most of them I see have that short barrel. This is actually a Magnum judge, meaning that it'll accept three inch shot shells, 410 shot shells. They have a, a model that the, the standard judge will shoot the two and a half inch shot shells. But this one being the Magnum, you can shoot the three inch or the two and a half inch. And of course, you can still shoot your 45 coat in it too. What we're gonna do today is just shoot some patterns. I've got a variety of 410 ammunition over here. Some of it designed specifically for the judge or other uh, 410 revolvers, 45 Colt 410 revolvers. There's some others on the market as well. But we're just gonna shoot some patterns and see what they look like from about seven yards. This is primarily marketed from what I've seen, from the ads I've seen, as like a anti-carjacking gun. gun. A gun you might keep in your car to prevent from being carjacked. So obviously it's meant for close range. So we're gonna shoot some patterns, mostly at about 21 feet and and just see see what they look like. I'm curious myself. I've never shot a Taurus Judge. Actually, my friend picked this up recently and asked me, hey, Buffalo, would you be interested in shooting this thing, maybe doing a video with it? You know, that's a no-brainer for me. Of course I would. Um, be the first time shooting it, and I might as well share that with you guys today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to start off here real basic. This is some Winchester AA number nine shot. This is actually what I was using in that video opener when I was tossing the clay pigeons. Put one round in, and I've noticed the cylinder spins counterclockwise like a Smith & Wesson. Let's see what kind of pattern we get on that full-size target. Seven yards. Okay, so at seven yards, the target is completely covered. Probably can't see it real good from the front side, but that spread is pretty unbelievable. Maybe you can see it. Yeah, you can see it back here. You've got pellets from the head all the way to the bottom. They're spread out all over the target. That is a very widespread pattern for birdshot at seven yards. Okay, I've got a new target up. Got the same shot shell. But this time, we're gonna shoot it from a bona fide 410 shotgun. You see, the 45 Colt revolver has rifling in the barrel. So how will this same shot shell perform in a bona fide 410 with a smooth bore? Let's take a look at that. So look at that. What a difference. Go around to the back side. Much different pattern when patterned from an actual shotgun. Now I don't want to go down that rabbit hole too far. That'll be the only time that I fire the shotgun today. We're going to focus on the judge. But I did want people to know that just because you're shooting a, a shotgun shell from that revolver, it doesn't mean you're getting results like you would from a shotgun. But I am curious, wonder how close we would have to be with that revolver to get a pattern similar to that. I think I'll give it a try. Again, same shot shell. This time, we're gonna be one yard from the target and see if we can 
accomplish the same pattern we got from the shotgun at seven yards. Now I'm going to try to use my viewfinder to aim with. Okay, so this target was the one we shot with the shotgun. So even, even at one yard, we can't duplicate the pattern we got from the shotgun at seven yards. So that thing spreads and it spreads in a hurry. Let's move on to some other stuff. Okay, I've got some of this Remington HD Ultimate Home Defense. Five pellets of triple lot buckshot in a three inch magnum. All right, so at seven yards, we were able to get four of those pellets onto that full size target. Blew through the board there. Spreads quickly. All right, this time we've got the Winchester PDX-1 Defender round. This is a two and a half inch shell. It contains three discs and 12 copper plated BBs. And this was one of those rounds that was designed specifically with the 410, the 45 coat chambered revolvers that shoot 410 in mind. That actually looks pretty good. Those three discs held together really well. I'm impressed with that. Now the 12 BBs were scattered all over. I see, actually only see five BB holes on the target. But the disc held together really well. I think that's the best so far. Okay, up next, we've got the Hornady Critical Defense, Triple Defense. This actually has a 41 caliber slug and two 35 caliber balls. And it is a two and a half inch chamber, or it is a two and a half inch shot shell. Looks pretty good from here. All right, so we've got two holes right here. I suspect that one of those 35 caliber balls went through the same hole right behind the 41 caliber bullet that's in that uh, shot shell. So what we're seeing is the stuff that's designed specifically for these revolvers is performing really, really well, but your standard shotgun loads, not so much. I'm gonna try this Hornady Critical Defense one more time, just to see if we can get all three projectiles to print on that cardboard. I'm 99% sure that two of those projectiles hung together. That's why we only saw two holes in the cardboard. So I'm, I'm gonna just shoot it one more time to find out. Okay, so this time we can definitely see two holes clearly right there and then one here. So just as I suspected with that first shot, two of those projectiles are hanging together. Whether it's the two round balls or the slug in the first round ball, I don't know. But I just wanted to make sure that we are getting all three projectiles on the target, and we are. Let's move on. Okay, so I made a post on my Patreon earlier this week and asked what you guys would like to see me pattern in this gun while I had it. 
and somebody said number four bird shot. So I've got a Super X, Winchester Super X, 11 16th ounce, three inch magnum, number four bird shot. We'll see what kind of pattern we get. As I suspected, that pattern's really spread out. Again, we can probably see it better from the back side, but from the head all the way to the bottom of the target, there are pellet, uh, holes where pellets struck. Really spread out, lots of gaps. It's not good performance at all at seven yards. That would be more of a one yard round. So the other suggestion I got from that Patreon post I made was to shoot some slugs and, and shoot a group with them. So I've got my favorite 410 slugs here. These are Brennicky, three inch magnum, quarter ounce 410 slugs. We'll shoot a group of five shots at seven yards. Just see, see how it turns out. All right, so this is gonna be hard to read because of the wadding, the piston wadding that sits beneath the slug and the stabilizer that's on the slug, also striking the target. But I can see clearly where the rifling from the slug cut the cardboard in this hole, this hole, and this hole. So those three were slug hits. And I also see some rifling cut into the cardboard on this hole. So that's four out of the five. Two may have possibly hit in here, not sure, or that could be one. But either way, that's not as bad of a group, even if it's this one, that's not as bad of a group as I expected. Remember, we're shooting 41 caliber slugs down a 45 caliber barrel. So kind of that old proverbial hot dog down the hallway effect but they turned out pretty well. Last but not least, we've got some 45 Colt ammo. This is the Hornady Liverlution 225 grain FTX bullet. Now, if I were gonna buy one of these Judge revolvers and I intended on shooting slugs, I wouldn't shoot 410 slugs through it. I'd shoot 45 Colt ammunition through it. That's your slug. So, what kind of group can we get with this? I'll shoot five shots at the middle of that A zone and see what kind of group we come up with. Very comfortable to shoot. Brass is a little sticky. Let's go check it out. No surprises there. It shoots the 45 coat really good. There's the A on my A zone. That's what I was aiming at. Got them all right there. So, shoots the 45 coat ammunition really well. Again, we, or at least most of us, likely knew that before I shot them, but wouldn't want to do a judge video without shooting some 45 Colt in it. All right, so that's going to do it for today's video. So what would I take away from all this? Well, I'm just going to be honest with you guys and, and let you know that the judge is, it's not really my cup of tea. I know somebody's going to get upset and Go ahead and leave your comment about how I wouldn't want to stand in front of my, your judge or whatever. I, I get it. 
just not my cup of tea. However, I would recommend that if you are carrying the, uh, the judge for self-defense or whatnot, consider using some of the premium ammunition, defensive ammunition that is made for the judge. As you saw today, it just performs much better than standard shotgun ammunition, or at least out of this particular judge it did. This is my only experience with the judge revolver, so I'm not basing this on years of experience shooting the Taurus judge. I'm just letting you know what, what I saw today with my eyes out of this revolver. Fun gun to shoot. Had a lot of fun with it. Not a whole lot of recoil, it, at least in this long barreled model here. Really, really nice to shoot. That nice, uh, you know you're shooting a big bore revolver, but at the same time, it's not stinging your hands or anything, so really comfortable to shoot. A lot of fun, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe maybe you saw something, you picked up on something that I didn't, or or you learned something from the way these pattern. Certainly, certainly not a shotgun. They're not a smooth bore. They're a 45 Colt revolver that you can shoot 410 in. That's the bottom line. So that's all I got, and I'll talk with you guys again soon.